Hello everybody, this is Adam from Real Guns for Real Men and I'm making a video today even though I should be working because I just can't focus because my throat's sore even with all the cough drops and my brain hurts from the past few days of uh, suffering through this new Omicron variant. Uh, it's my second bout with COVID. Um, it's not great, but it's really not worse than the flu and so I'm thankful for that. Um, Symptom-wise, for me at least, uh, I know other people have had it worse, and feel sorry for them. But I'm glad that I'm not dying over here. But it is unpleasant. I'm extremely bored because I can't focus on work. I'm weak feeling, so I'm not gonna go outside or anything, especially since it's like six degrees outside. It's ridiculous. Um, so I decided to make a video about all the knives I own. I'm not a huge knife collector. I'm not an expert on knives. I'm not even really a knife guy. You know, there's a lot of people out there who are really into knives, and that's cool. Um, a lot of channels on YouTube, if you like that type of stuff. Blade HQ, I think, is a, a good one. They're you know, down in Utah. Um, so we're just going to go through the knives I have, uh, from cheapest to most expensive. Now, I have a computer over here because my brain's a little fuzzy, so it's hard to remember everything. So. <clears throat> this is the Smith & Wesson Rainbow, and it is colored like rainbow chrome finish, and it was $10, and it works great for opening letters and stuff around the kitchen and packages from Amazon, and it looks cool because it's rainbow chrome. Now. We're gonna get to this knife, which is a Schrade a Land Shark, and it is one of my favorite knives. It is dual chrome, and it's an assisted knife, so it's a flipper. It has some nice serrations there. It's very nice. Um, I like it a lot. This knife is actually the one I've used the most of all the knives on this table. Um, I would say that I uh, cleaned at least one, if not two deer, plus a dozen birds, and maybe even a couple fish with this knife. And it gets a lot of use for a little pocket knife. This knife I got about a week ago in the mail. Um, got it on sale for $15 online. Uh, the other one was $15 as well. This one's a lot bigger. It's a K-Bar Koipu. She's like a rodent from South America, apparently. Had to Google that. And it is just normal pocket knife, but it has a really big blade. It's very different from what I would normally carry, but I wanted it because it had a seatbelt cutter right here and a window breaking, you know, nub right there. So I'm gonna keep it in the car. And then going up in price for my uh, knives that are sentimental because my fiance got it for me uh, last Valentine's Day. It's the Kin Onion Chive by Kershaw. It's also a flipper knife. Uh, it's an assisted opening. It's pink. It's a nice blade. I use it for quite a bit of things, small things, opening packages and such. Um, I actually use it quite often. The tip right here to pry things that don't require much force because you don't want to break the tip off your knife, but if you need to get underneath something, um, I use this knife and I actually keep it in um, my chest rig that normally has a bunch of medical items in case I need to open you know, gauze or something or just slice some clothes open to apply a tourniquet or, or whatever. Um, going up in price, $8 to $45 we got. Uh, it's the Ontario 9710 Spec Plus Alpha. And it is a Bowie knife, or a Bowie knife, however you want to pronounce it. And I really like it. It's a rubberyish grip, very non aggressive jimping, which you can't see because the lighting's not good apparently. Um, <laughs> but uh, it's a thick boy. And it is just. Really cool knife. 
I really like it. Uh, I use it for heavy duty use. It is 10.2 inches long from the base of the handle all the way to the tip of the blade. It doesn't weigh that much. It's only 6.8 ounces. And it is 1075 steel, uh, similar to what you'd find on like a K-Bar and most other kind of tactical um, black bladed Bowie knives. <clears throat> But uh, I use it for heavy duty use, it works great. I use it to baton wood, to chop the wood. I use it to make notches and some sticks to make some uh, deadfall traps. And I've used it to uh, clear out really thick vines and like stems of like really tough weeds, like very large weeds. Um, use it to whack away at those, kind of like a machete. And it's worked great. Uh, the blade's a little dull now because I've used it like that for over a year. Uh, vegetation does that. Uh, and now we're going to get up into the three most expensive knives, and these are over $100. And you really can tell the difference. Um, do you need a $100 knife? No, the difference might not matter for what you're doing. Uh, if you're doing a lot of heavy-duty use, you might just want to buy a couple $40 knives that are pretty nice, feel good in your hand, and you just use them, sharpen them. If you don't want to sharpen them, just buy a few $30 ones and throw them away or give them away one. <laughs> You know, they become dull. <clears throat> Cough drops wearing off. Um, unfortunate. But this is $106 when I bought it. I think it's worth a little bit more than that. I got it on sale. But this is a Piranha P1 Switchblade. It is a out the side switchblade. It's automatic. Hit that button right here. It's a mirror finish, 154 cm steel, so it's really hard. Uh, I'm not going to lose uh, the, the edge too soon. It's very sharp. It's the sharpest knife on this table, probably. Uh, the next one might be sharper, I'm not sure. Uh, but this one's very sharp, and uh, it's the mirror finish is amazing. I can use it to see if I got anything in my teeth, you know, after I eat. It's really nice. And it's very classy. Uh, I carry this on me when I'm in a suit jacket, you know. like. Uh, looks classier than the other ones. Now, this one is my most recently acquired knife. Oh, I lied. This one I got like a week ago. But before that one, this was my newest one. Uh, so I haven't actually had a chance to use it on anything. Uh, I actually took it with me this season, uh, deer hunting, but I didn't get a deer, so sad. But I'd use it for skinning. It's the Bradford Guardian. I had had my eye on it for a while now. I never picked one up because they're always over, you know, 130, 140 bucks. I got this one for 108, two dollars more than that other knife that I just showed you. Uh, also, the Piranha is made in Twin Falls, Idaho, so that's pretty cool. Um, you know, it's made here in Idaho, where I'm from. So. Uh, but this Bradford Guardian is in 690 steel, and so it's not gonna rust. Um, it's basically impervious to the elements, and that's why I got it. These, uh, this grip is very very aggressive. Uh, it would probably give you blisters if you used it a lot. Jim is also very aggressive. But for like a three or four minute ordeal, like cleaning a deer initially, um, you don't want your hands to slip when they're wet from snow, blood, whatever. Um, and yeah, I, I wouldn't get a blister after three or four minutes. So I, I think it's going to be a perfect knife for that type of application. Um, survival and cleaning deer and stuff like that. Now we're gonna get to the knife I've owned the longest. It's also my favorite and it's the most expensive. I see them on <clears throat> online on eBay and stuff going for about $150 up to $250. I traded a 22 rifle that I got for 130 bucks for this. Uh, so I got a pretty good deal on it, I feel. And it is by far my favorite knife. I've had it for almost five years now. And it is the SOG Navy SEAL Edition Bowie Knife. It is made, it was made in 2000 when they were still making them over in Seki, Japan. And it's uh, AUS-6 steel, so not very hard steel, but you don't want a hard steel for the applications that you're gonna use this boy for. Um, you don't want a blade to break off inside of something or someone, uh, if you're stabbing something or someone. Um, and that's one of the applications for this. Or if you're using it to pry stuff, you'd rather it bend and not break. You might need it for that. It's a survival knife and a combat knife. It has some serrations, uh, 
cuts through some rope or something. Uh, again, it's a Navy SEAL edition. You don't want to get tangled up in a net or something, I guess. Uh, and it is not the sharp, not sharper than the past two, uh, but it's sharp enough and the tip is very, very pointy. Um, nice rubbery grip, uh, nicer than the other Bowie knife. And it is uh, my favorite knife, not necessarily because of the blade, but because of the sheath itself. Um, one, it has this quick detach system, so all you have to do is pinch these. And this sheath is very smart, and uh, that pulls off, and so you don't have to take anything else off your belt in order to get it off. You can just pop it off your belt instead of undoing the belt, sliding off your spare mags, and sliding this off, or whatever. So the, the sheath is why I like it. Also, the sheath has a built-in seatbelt cutter. So it's been in my truck for the past four and a half years. Um, and the seatbelt cutter, I've used it on other things, like rope and stuff. It's very sharp right there. It's enough that I, I, I trust it. So this, this knife right here, by far my favorite and my oldest, and it's the one I keep in the truck. And this has a seatbelt cutter and it's going to go in the sand. Um, and that's my knife collection. Sorry for the poor presentation. That's as good as I can do right now, given the circumstances. Hope you enjoyed it.